Namaste. Today I'll be demonstrating Konasan Variation 1, also known as the Side Angle Pose, which I learned from the Yoga Institute curriculum when I got trained. So you keep your feet two feet apart. So that way you can measure the distance. Place your hands loose. Get one hand towards the waist. As you breathe in, you get this and towards the armpit. As you hang the other hand loose, as you breathe in, you get into the pose. Ensure the idea is not to go down like this, bending forward. It's mainly just bending on the side. As you breathe out, you come out. Breathe in, get the other hand towards the armpit and look towards the other ankle, hanging the other hand loose. Feeling the side of the armpit waist region. As you exhale, you come back. Let's repeat it twice. Inhale as you go down. Exhale, you come back. Inhale as you go down. Exhale as you come back. Once more, I'll go into static. So those two were dynamic. Inhale as I go down. So this, if you have seen my uh, earlier video on Yogendra Pranayama number two, you're working on the intercostal muscles. So you're also doing breathing along with the physical movement. That's the uh, advantage of this posture. I like when you get in breathing along with the physical movement. If you feel your neck is hurting looking down, sometimes when you're not used to it, you can always look up. So this stretches the shoulder, the hips, the side of the waist, works on the abdomen. If you have scoliosis, this also benefits on one side and also works on the hamstring. So this was static. Inhale as you go down. Just to demonstrate, as you see, I'm also breathing the intercostal using the intercostal muscles, the muscles between the ribs here. Try and see if you're able to look down, but if you have neck issues, you can always look in front. And continue breathing for about three to four breaths. The idea is to get a nice stretch on the side of the waist, your hamstring, your hips, your shoulders as you lift one hand. This hand hanging loose as you exhale, you come back. Maybe just roll your shoulders. Uh, the only limitations I can think of are if you have some kind of um, vertigo or hypertension because you tend to look down, it's best you avoid this posture. Otherwise, this is a very nice side bend. And one benefit, one more benefit is it can be done as a warm-up when you get up or just as an awesome by itself. Thank you. Namaste.